poor Corliss. I, I feel like since the beginning of the series, he's been taking L's. Oh, like yeah. literally, we start off with him, his wife being overlooked as to be queen over King Viserys, right? Yeah. And then later on, his daughter is the most logical decision for King V to take up as the new queen. Nope. Then it gets crushed uh, yes. by the crab he feeder. Gets shafted, and, man. And the, the king refuses. The, the king refuses to send aid. He's just like, dude, this is really anally screwing me right now. He's like, well, yes. I don't want to be in war, Corliss. And he's like, ah. And then finally, <laughs> finally, he kind of gets King V where he wants him. He's like, fine. We'll marry our, uh, we'll marry our kids together. And yeah. Your, uh, kids <laughs> together. His, Oops, his son my son's gay. <laughs> An heir. And yeah. now both of them are dead. It's like, dude, oh, Corliss. Do, do you think, do you think, uh, um, Loris? No, not Loris. What? The, I'm, I'm gonna kill myself. Lainor. What's his name? Lainor. Do you think? Do you think Lainor is uh, infertile as well? Because in this episode, yes. they did. They did say so. He's gay and infertile. That's a rough, rough deal. I mean, they kind of, <laughs> no. they kind of really don't matter, right? Like, right. Yeah, for Lainor too. It's like he's trying, which is I'm glad they kind of showed this with him and uh, Rhaenyra actually trying to make a baby. But yeah, me too. I like that. Shut for a little bit or something. It's like, come on, girl. Just keep them shut for a little bit while we're. Oh, that's what I was make- thinking. Maybe, maybe her uterus has like such a high standard of fertility now. Like maybe Lenor is just fine. I mean, he's healthy, he's like a normal man. But because she's so used to these like powerful s- semen sperm clumps just pummeling her, she needs yeah. like some kind of superb strong seed in order to you know get in there and, and fertilize. I don't know. Well, I, th- I think it's Star- Rhaenyra's fault. <laughs> no strong seeds coming from this guy. Look at him. He looks so pathetic in this <laughs> so episode, sad. too. And I feel bad for uh, Lenor here a little bit because his life is, like, not where he'd want it to be, right? He's he's uh, he's stuck in the court when he wants to be... You, you know, know where he wants to be. Hanging with the boys. Hanging which, with the boys. Yeah. <laughs> on the ships, out on the I ocean. Think, by the end of it, he made the best pick for himself. He's like, oops, I'm dead. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Hanging with the boys. I don't do and that's just a testament to how much put yourself in his shoes. Would you imagine being so dedicated to the boys that you I do know. that? Do you do that to your parents? You do that to your mom and dad who just lost their only other kid. And then you Good. make it look like that you were charred to a crisp just to go hang out with the guys. Man, that's no. rough. That's rough. I mean, based well, Lenor, right? Right. But then again, we've not. I wouldn't do that to my parents, but I don't know how his parents were to be around. If you know, Lord Cor- Corliss is constantly being, talking about his legacy. Oh my, dude, Shit, all like the like, time. Around, dude. <sighs> yes, even the queen that never was. What's her name again? I don't even remember, remember uh, what her name is. Rhaenys. Yeah, Rhaenys. Yeah, Rhaenys, yeah. Rhaenys, dude, it's like, I would be pissed off if I was her. He is way too on it all the time. I'm sure for the first couple of years, there's kind of flattering, like, oh, you care oh, so yeah. much about my, my being, you know, queen or whatever. But, dude, how fast would that run dry? Come on. We know yeah, that know. you're in it for yourself, dude. And plus, dude, Corliss's whole mentality in this, in previous episodes, I was right with him. Like, you know, it's the father who carries on the name to the kids. Like, these kids should be Valerian. And even though he kind of cucked to it. Yeah. Like, in this episode, man, no way. Like, uh, you know, history doesn't remember blood, remembers names. Well, that is like, true. I, it is true. But it's like, as like a primal base, basic thing in your body, I'm amazed that he was willing to make that uh, sacrifice without any resistance. Yeah, I'm, I think uh, I understand exactly what you're saying. It's like the primal, it's like instinct of being like, no, it has to be my blood. It's my my yes, my family line here. But it, knowing him, Corliss, he built basically this family up and make it the powerhouse it is. So at this point, it's kind of like, yeah, it's it's mine. Like it's my name. So now I'm gonna have to pass on basically the family business. So instead of it being called, uh, I don't want it to be called Targaryen or some other obscure lord that the uh valerian daughters of damon marry and then become the lords of driftwood right so whatever it's like ah uh, or driftmark excuse me yeah, drift so mark. it's like yeah i under i understand his frustration and all of this and how it's like even though this kid is clearly not his he's like you have my name though and if, if it was an adoption thing it would seem like actually kind of nice for him to say that right it's like no you you're still mine even though you don't have my blood yeah, you know but, what but, but he's he's being ignorant to the fact that he's like yeah you're my kid my my flesh and blood, and you're like, come on, guys. Yeah, <laughs> he's, being, he's, he's being ignorant. Now, listen, I need you to look look up real quick. This might be – we can cut maybe this a little part out, but look up a picture of Corliss Valerian from the books. Have you ever seen oh, what he looks like in the oh, books? Oh, yeah. I've, you do? I've okay. this, this makes me wonder – first of all, he looks badass, whatever. This oh, makes me wonder how this exactly this went in the books. So, yeah, spoiler alert, we didn't read Fire and Blood. But how did this little, uh, you know, people discovering or suspecting that Rhaenyra's kids were bastards go? Because – Corliss and the Valerians in the books, pale skin and dark, dark hair. 
So like, what did Strong have blonde hair? Was he black or what's going on there? No, I think so. Is it like a Lannister situation where like these kids are supposed to have blonde hair no matter what? No, I think in the books, uh, Rhaenyra's mom, uh, the series' first wife, she's supposed to have black hair because she's Aaron. She's like part Targaryen, but also right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the hair has changed. I I think whose her names is different too. I think uh, Rhaenyra, Rhaenys. The I think hers is different too because she's like part Baratheon. Okay, but the but so, w- so I think they both have darker hair. So then it kind of gives like a uh, maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Okay, but this, so then there's way less of like an obvious like Malfeasan then in the books. Is that what you that what you mean? Right. Or there's like some plausible deniability. Okay. In okay. They're like okay maybe and th- that that speech with. <laughs> King V in the last episode makes a lot <laughs> yeah. more sense than you being like, I know yeah, I'm about to kick you, your skull in backwards. <laughs> yeah, Cause I was going to say in this one, they make our boy King V look like a fucking idiot for making uh, this like justification. Our poor boy, man, come on. He's I old is in the last years of his life. He wants to relax, retire down in Florida. It's like, just let him be, but no, they got to make well, him look like an idiot. I, I'm not a big fan of this funeral setting thing here. It's like, does this drop right here? Yeah. Haven't you jump, jumped off of like bigger cliffs than this? You'd feel well, like it'd be yes. a cooler thing to have it like on a big arch or something. It's oh, a huge drop, right? Where absolutely. It's... Also, there's two issues with this. They show the like a bird's eye shot of this. This is not deep water. This is stone, like right beneath it. So either they filled this stuff with or this thing with stone so that it sinks, and then it's just um, going to be right offshore, like goddamn Atlantis in the MCU, right? It's just offshore. No one's found it until now for some reason. Either that, or they don't put any rocks in it at all, and they risk this thing just you know, being taken by the tides and washing up on shore a mile down the road. And it's like, look who we found. It's the queen of driftwood or drift mark. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think this thing's even made out of whole stone, the, the tomb thing here. Well, then that thing is literally going to be resting just offshore forever. I know. That's just, it's just strange. It's a strange choice. I fully agree. And you know what? I feel bad for Corliss for the most that uh, the speech for his daughter was given by his beta brother, like the I way know. lesser Valerian, like fuck that guy. And then Damon laughs when he talks about keeping the, the family <laughs> yeah. blood thick. He's just like, are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> Which is savage, dude. Like, we got to talk about Damon after this in a different video because, dude, Rhaenyra still wants him after that disrespect. Unbelievable. I know. Well, also, real quick, you see, who does this remind you of when you see Lenora here? Uh, quick reaction. Uh, JB. I, I, don't, well, I don't know who. Um, it's Cory Booker, dude. Oh, dude, Senator it is Cory from Booker. New- dude, uh, yeah, he does look Cory Booker. Who did I say looked like Don Lemon? Oh, that elf from Rings of Power looks just like yes, Don Lemon. We got to get these two in the room together, man. They could have a conversation. Just at this angle, never in any other part of the series thus far have I thought uh, Lenor looks like Cory Booker. Oh, but- he's got he's got the angry Mr. Potato Head right here. That's why. <laughs> I know It's the eyes. It's the yes, eyes. Yes, it is. It's all the uh, eyes. Every other shot, he... Uh, he doesn't look like him. I, I don't know if there'll be any more investigation on his dead body here that you see in the, the hall. Well, of Drift- I know. God. Mark here. I was thinking the same thing, man. Like, dude, the guy that he killed, that is not even the same skin tone as him. Like, I hope to God they don't take off this guy's pants and check out his legs. Be like, dude, this is oh. no way. <laughs> Lenor did not look like this. Lenor's six inches smaller now <laughs> yeah, in, know. in every direction. <laughs> yeah, no shit. It's unbelievable. It's like. Last time I sucked these toes, they did not taste this way. It's like, this is not my son's toes, you know? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know what's going second. on. All right, let us know what you think of the Valerian house right now. Are they in a poised right now. position? Yeah, right now. Do you think they're in a poised position to uh, take over, or are they uh, just in a more vulnerable spot than where they started? Spoiler alert, they are just a little bit vulnerable. Yeah, they're fucked. Yeah, they're fucked. Uh, go ahead, smash that like button. Like, you know... Who's his name? Our boy, Lenor, is out in the seven seas. Not the seven seas, whatever. How many seas? In the narrow yeah, sea knows? right now, yeah. making it a little more wider. Smash that like button like you know uh, Lenor is doing his duty on the seas. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this.